All right, in this video, I'm going to be tying up the Cole Wild fly. Uh, it is a, a fly that was used by Cole Wild. He was a chief of fish and wildlife for uh, the Connecticut Department of Environmental Pr Protection. And uh, I guess this was one of his favorites. Um, this is just a cool looking fly. Um, more of a traditional looking wet fly and just um, the use of floss for the body is just interesting and I, I really like it. I've tied up a couple of these um, before. So the original calls for a, a stainless steel size one hook. Um, again, I think that's fairly large. I'm going to tie it on a size two. This is a 34 uh, 007 Mustad stainless steel hook <clears throat> in the vise right now. Um, I will be tying this with Danville's flat uh, wax nylon thread in a red color. And I'm going to go ahead and lay down uh, some thread. Take that about a hook eye length past the, the hook eye. Snip our thread. Uh, next I'm going to tie in some fine tinsel. I'm not sure what brand this is. This is a very small tinsel. I'd say like a mil uh, wide. So I'm just going to go ahead and tie that in on the side there. I need probably you know, a foot of it just to be safe. That, that might be a little overkill, but just to be safe, a foot of it. I'm just going to capture that on my material holder here and we'll come back to it. Uh, the next material it calls for is a uh, fluorescent green floss and uh, I've got this kind of fluorescent green floss here again I'm not sure what brand um, I'm probably gonna pull off oh two feet or so of that just go ahead and cut it off makes it easier I'm trying to do this with another uh, bobbin and before that I tie that in actually I'm gonna go ahead and bring my thread all the way down to the barb of the hook and I'll go ahead and tie that floss in now. I'm just going to wrap it in half around my thread and then just capture it right at the butt of the fly. Now this fly calls for kind of a cigar shaped body <clears throat> and Typically that would be done with the floss, but I'm going to go ahead and start to build that cigar shape with thread just to save on um, you know, materials. So I'm going to advance the thread back and forth, but just stopping short each time. So not quite to the end where I started at the back of the hook or at the front of the hook. And we're going to do that several times just to kind of fatten up the body um, before we move to our thread. Uh, I'm sorry, our floss. It's just easier to do with thread, I think, than it is the floss. And thread's cheap. Floss can be expensive, especially if it's silk. So you can see I'm starting to build up this fatter body, and you kind of just want to continue to build up that center section, almost into a, a cigar shape. So you can see it, it requires a fair amount of thread. It certainly would require decent amount of, of floss. Okay, so once I kind of have the general shape down, I'm going to take the thread all the way back down and then all the way back up just to give that kind of smooth transition. And again, I'm going to take that probably about an eye's length behind the eye. Now I'm going to take my floss and start to wrap that you have to be careful with the floss because if you snag that that hook tip it'll start to fray, particularly this floss. I don't think this is very high-end floss. But I'm going to just start to wrap that around the body and touching wraps If it starts to come on wine, just come back, take your time. We'll do 
loose on me here. Just take your time, it's not a race. And again, I'm just going to kind of take this back. Not quite to the end. And then when I move forward, not quite all the way forward. Looks like I can probably do that one more time with the amount of material that I have. <clears throat> so you end up with this nice, fat, kind of cigar shaped body. <clears throat> Now I'm going to go ahead and proceed to move forward and capture that floss with my thread. And then I just want to trim away the tag of the floss, just any of that excess. So you can see so there's some frays there from the floss, just trim them off. Not a big deal. Next we're going to advance our tensile forward. So these should be nice kind of wide wraps. Try to keep them even. Just adds a nice little flashy accent to that body. And then again, just capture that with your thread. And then trim your excess. Alright, so this might kill some purists, but that's too pretty of a body for me just to leave exposed like that. And Shad have rough mouth, so before I know it, I'm sure that's going to be a frayed mess. So I like to take little Sally Hansen's here and just seal up that body. It soaks in very well to the floss and helps protect the tensile and floss body. And seems not to change the color too much, but I think you'll end up with a much more durable fly like that. Alright, the next material we're going to tie in is a white hackle and the instructions say to tie that in uh, wet fly style, so to me that says um, like a throat. <clears throat> so I'm going to just select a, a neck hackle, something fairly webby. Something about like that. I'm going to strip off all of the, the fluff. And then we are left with some nice um, barbels all about the or I'm sorry, barbs all about the same length. And I'm going to tie this in relatively thick, so about this much, uh, this many barbs. I'm just going to grab the tips and try to line them as best I can and then simply pull them away from the stem. Take my other finger, just pinch to grab, and you end up with the good selection of feathers with the tips, the tips all about the same length. Now we want to tie in the tips about the length of the bend, not too much further. And I'm just going to tie that in with the pinch wrap, pull straight down, give a couple more wraps just to capture, and then take a look. And that might be a little bit thick materials, but still a good looking fly. Now. I like my, my throats to kind of stick up slightly, so I'm going to lift that throat or hackle up and just do one 
wrap underneath and kind of pull that straight under give it one wrap on top and then do that again and that's just going to get that throat to kind of stand up a bit go ahead and trim off your tag end there of the hackle just a few there And now we're going to just build up a little red head. And give it a whip finish. trim our thread. Try not to cut the throat. And last but not least, touch our thread wraps on the head with a little bit of Sally Hansen's to protect those. those and uh, get a nice shiny head. And that is the cold wild fly. I just think that's a great looking fly. Can't wait to try that on the water this year. I hope you enjoy it.